Hey, it's your homeboy, Chris Burfield, a.k.a. The Burf, a.k.a. The Big Cheese. And this is Straight Out of the Thrift Store. The thrift store looking for toys galore. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Man, it has been a steady week of thrifting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, now Sunday. And uh, we're gonna hit up some new thrift stores, ones we have not been to before. I'm kind of on a little bit of that new thrift store streak, venturing out a little bit beyond my borders to try to find those ultimate scores. So today we're gonna be heading over towards Richard Richardson. Uh, there is a thrift store over there. Um, and then on the way back, we're gonna hit up Old Faithful, which is Thrift Giant, located right here down the street from my home. So anyway, um, let's jump in the rover, head that way, and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, we are here. All right, check it out. It's just simply called Thrift Shop. Never been here before. Um, it was about a 30 minute drive. Uh, I had to head towards Dallas and it's uh, off of 635 in LBJ. So, but anyway, uh, it looks pretty big. It looks like it's a really big thrift shop. So hopefully they got some real good goodies on the shelves. Let's check it out, yo. That sucked. That sucked real bad considering we drove quite a distance to get here and there was nothing, just scraps left on the shelves. Um, I do know that there's a, I just checked the maps. There is a Goodwill nearby and then there's a few other thrift stores. Uh, it is Sunday and it's like 9.36 a.m. and a lot of these stores don't open till 11 but there are a handful that opened at nine and then some start to open at 10. So maybe we'll be able to hit up a few of them uh, I do want to ultimately hit up my thrift giant, the one by my house, uh, before we call it a day. But we're going to head towards Goodwill right now and uh, see what kind of goodies they got here in Dallas. So I have never been to this Goodwill, uh, but we're going to head there right now. Well, I believe they are open. Uh, that's what it said on the maps. I saw the other Goodwills don't open till 11, but for some reason, this one was supposed to be open at nine. So uh, let's head in here and check out these Goodwill goodies. Well, that sucks. Um, they don't open till 11. The map said they opened at nine. Uh, man, that blows. I kind of peeked through the window. Just peeking through the window. And uh, it looks like a nice store. Looks like they had, uh, you know, it was real, you know, nice and organized inside and stuff like that. Um, couldn't tell whether they had toys, but I don't know. Anyway, it sucks that it's only 9.30, so I don't want to have to wait. Well, it's like 9.45 now. I don't want to have to wait an hour and 15 minutes to check out this place. So we'll have to put it, you know, uh, put it on the list and come back and check it another day maybe. So, all right, let's see what else we can find. 
Okay, so uh, there is a thrift store just down the road, three miles, called New Thrift Store. Uh, these names of these stores are just so straightforward. <laughs> new Thrift Store. So anyway, we're going to uh, check out uh, New Thrift Store. Um, saw some images online of the place. Looks like it might be decent. Uh, said it opens at nine. We shall see when we get here. Uh, but we're headed that way right now. And uh, we'll check things out. And uh, who knows, you know, maybe we'll be able to kill enough time to hit this Goodwill up before um, before we head over to Thrift Giant and call it a day. So, all right, well, let's, let's, uh, let's get there and see what they got. All right, so uh, this appears to be in the Asian part of town. So we're gonna head in here. You know, that's the thing about doing this stuff on Sunday is that none of these places really open till like 11, 11 o'clock, like, like at least a large majority of them. Um, I have no idea if this is gonna have the goodies we're looking for, but you know, it's always an adventure always an adventure and again i just love the thrill of the hunt just knowing that when you walk into a place like this there could be anything in there so all right well let's head in here and check out their goodies and uh hopefully we score some Nothing, nothing worth getting anyway. Uh, some Matchbox cars was about the most exciting thing they had in there. But uh, all right, well, let's head back to the um, let's head back to the vehicle here and check out the maps and see if there's anything else nearby. Alrighty, we are going to be heading towards DFW Thrift, which is about 20 minutes down the road. That'll put us about 10:30 when we get there. So by the time we hit that up and then make our way back, I think we can get to that Goodwill by 11. I really want to go in there. It looked it looked promising from the window. And now I want to get back in. I want to get in there. So we're going to kill a little time. So we're going to head to DFW Thrift now and uh, check that out. And then ultimately hit up that Goodwill on the way back. Yo, there is like a big ass yard sale right here on the corner. We're gonna check this motherfucker out. Oh wow, yeah, they got toys and shit too. So let's check this out. Okay, so I gotta go down here and find an ATM and get some cash because they've got some cool stuff out. Oh man, I'm like, I'm excited. I gotta get to the ATM and get back before somebody else gets in here and picks it over. All right, so I uh, got some cash and uh, we're gonna head back to this yard sale. This kid had like the Sentinel One, the core, those types of action figures and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, so we're gonna take a look around, but I'm definitely, I mean, he had the vehicles for the core. Um, awesome stuff. So let's, ch let's check this shit out. Check this out. I got all of this, all of it for 40 bucks. How freaking awesome is that? What a haul. They were kind enough to let me borrow this to bring it down here, but I got to take it back to them. But uh, wow, super excited for that, man. You don't come along a, a score like that very often. So anyway, uh, let's go hit up uh, this Goodwill and we just might call it a day because this is, uh, this is fucking awesome. All right, 
right, it's uh, it's about seven minutes to 11, so we got a few minutes to wait here um, before they open, but oh my God, oh my God, I'm still like in shock of like finding all that stuff and getting it for 40 bucks. Um, just phenomenal, epic score. Biggest score of my life so far. Uh, that is the biggest, most epic, most mega score of my thrifting career. Um, but yeah, so, you know, with that being said, we're gonna hit up this Goodwill. I'm not even gonna bother going to Thrift Giant today. I'm just gonna get home and uh, start looking some of this stuff up on eBay to find out like what this stuff is actually worth. Uh, so I'll probably do a part two to this video where I'll give you an update on how much each of those are actually selling for on eBay. So uh, yeah, just real excited. So we'll wait you know, till later in the week to hit uh, Thrift Giant up. But anyway, we'll be heading in here in just a few seconds, uh, a few minutes. And uh, you know, fingers crossed that uh, we find something in here. But if not, Today was a good day. Today was a good day. So that's a uh, really nice uh, Goodwill. Uh, unfortunately, uh, their toy section was not so nice. <laughs> Lots of kids and babies, baby toys and stuff like that, you know? Uh, and when I say kids toys, I'm talking like, you know, three, four year olds, that sort of thing. But, uh, cause I'm a big kid. You're probably a big kid too, which is why you collect toys. Um, but anyway, that concludes this episode. Like I said, there will be a part two as I sort through that huge haul and figure out what uh, what item, what you know, what figures are worth what, and um, we'll do like an itemized list of them, as far as like, hey, you know, here's what they're actually selling for on eBay. I have a feeling that that was uh, overall that was a extremely extremely profitable if I decide to sell them profitable haul. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I love those types of uh, those action figures that line so much. I'll probably keep a lot of them, but uh, I know that I've got some doubles of some of that stuff already. So I'll probably just flip those on eBay. But anyway, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're up to date on every single episode that we release. And please like and comment on this video. Let me know. Have you ever had a mega haul, a mega score from a yard sale or a thrift store that you got a lot of stuff for dirt cheap? Uh, also, if you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me over there at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. In the meantime, we'll catch you on the flip side.